guys, welcome back to Splat. I'm so glad you're here this week. Guess what I have. Yes, it's the Bible. That's the most special book ever. It's the most special thing in the world. Why do I say that? The Bible is so special because it's God's word. Well, how did it get here? Well, God told special men his words. And they had scribes. A scribe was someone who wrote it down. They took their scribe paper and they took their, their ink and they wrote it down. They copied the words. Oh, what, like one man named Jeremiah. He has his own book in the Bible. God told his words to Jeremiah. And Jeremiah went to a scribe and the scribe copied down his words. And now we have all of them all of them together in one book called the bible now there's all kinds of bibles there's this one's a soft bible if you look inside it has books there's 66 books in here that has chapters the big number is a chapter inside the books and then there's verses the little numbers are verses that's the ones we memorized john 316 John's a book in the Bible three is a chapter a big number and 16 is the verse the little number that's how we can find stuff in God's Word and it's all from God himself he gave it to us and there's little Bibles there's big Bibles this one's very hard if you open it up you can write stuff on the side here there's room to do that well, this one's soft and if you look inside it it has other verses that you can look up and it has something at the bottom called a commentary a commentary explains the verses like what does that mean well it tells you it explains it it explains what it means they're all special because it's the word of god it is god's word the bible tells us what's right and what's wrong and it lets us know god more now, if a book is that special, how should we treat it? Should we throw it on the floor? <gasps> oh, should we rip it up? Uh, should we take our crayons and our markers and scribble all over it? Oh, no, I, I hope you don't do that. We had to treat God's word with respect. We take care of it. We, we... We don't throw it on the floor. We don't rip it up. We don't color in it. We take good care of it. Well, we can protect God's word by following it. That means we obey what God says. We read or we have mom and dad read to us and it tells us, oh, this is wrong. Or, no, yep, this is right. And then we do that. We do what's right. We be kind. We obey mom and dad. We do what he says. That's how we can protect it. That's a good thing. But do you know, not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody wants to protect God's word. Some people, they hate God's word. Oh, they, they, they don't want to keep it. But God's word can't be destroyed. Even though all the way back when Jeremiah was alive, there was a man that tried to do that. Oh, why would he do that? Well, we'll find out. He did not want to protect God's word. We're going to see what happens to that man. His name was Jehoiakim. That's a big name. Jehoiakim. But his story started with Jeremiah. With Jeremiah, God told his words to Jeremiah. And Jeremiah found a scribe. His name was Barak. And he wrote down all of the words God told Jeremiah. Jeremiah told him to him, and there he goes, writing them all down. What he said was, the people of Israel, God's special people, they were sinning. They were doing wrong. They were not obeying God. They were not following God's word. They were sinning. And Jeremiah, his words from the Lord, if they did not repent, they were going to be punished. You know, repent, it means to turn around. It means you're very, very sorry. 
for for what you did wrong, for your sin, and you don't want to do it anymore. That's what repent means. But the good news was, God told Jeremiah that if they repented, then God would forgive them. Well, we know that today because it's in the Bible. God's words. He said, if you, we confess our sins, he is faithful. And he is just to forgive us our sins. That faithful means he will do it every time. He will forgive all of our sins. All the bad things we've done. If we confess them. If we ask him. We have to be sorry. We've sinned. We have to know we've done wrong and we're sorry. And God will forgive us if we ask him. And that was God's words to Jeremiah. Now Jeremiah told the scribe, Barak. He said, I want you to write down these words. And then I want you to go read them in God's house in Israel. So he did. Eric obeyed. He did exactly what Jeremiah said to do. He took down his words and he went to the house of Israel, the Lord's house. And he told them. He read it to everybody. So you guys, people were listening. But there's someone else who heard too. It was the king. King Jehoiakim. He heard the words on that scroll from Jeremiah, and he did not like them. Oh, look at this picture. He was angry. Oh, he didn't like that. He was not sorry. He did not want to repent. He, he did not like that at all. That the, oh, God's going to punish us if we don't stop. I don't want to stop. So he did a very bad thing. He did a terrible thing. He took the scroll. Now remember whose words these were? Jeremiah gave them to the scribe, but they were from God. They were God's words. And he took that scroll and he ripped it. Oh! <gasps> and he uh, threw it in the fire. Is that okay? No, that's not okay, but he did it again. And he threw it in the fire. The whole scroll. He, he cut the whole thing up and threw it in the fire and burnt it. Those were God's words. That was wrong. That was not okay to do. He was trying to get rid of God's words because he didn't like it. You know, people still do that. They still want to destroy God's words. And sometimes if you're obeying God's word, if you're protecting God's word by following it, you're doing what's right, that makes other people angry. Sometimes it does. But you can't let that stop you. It didn't stop Jeremiah. No, it never stops God. But we just got to keep doing right. Even if when you do right, it makes other people angry. Maybe you tell the truth and it makes someone angry. You got to keep doing right. You just got to keep doing right. As we see, that didn't stop God. That didn't stop Jeremiah. He gave his words all over again. So they started all over again, and he wrote them all down. And then some new words. God gave him new words. And he wrote all of them down all over again. And we still have that today. And God protected his words, even though what King Jehoiakim did was very wrong. Oh, that, that was wrong. It was, he he just tried to destroy God's word. But he couldn't destroy it forever. God gave it to him again and he wrote it down and we still have that. We can read that in the book of Jeremiah. So he protected it. God protects his word. So we can't we don't have to be afraid to do what's right. We don't have to be afraid to follow God's word because he'll protect us too. And we can protect God's word by respecting it and obeying it. Just like just like Jeremiah did. It's a, it's a very special thing to have God's word. I have my Bible here. I'm going to play a game. I'm going to move it around. And I'm going to see if you can follow it with your eyes. Okay? Can you do that? Are you going to lose it? Oh, follow, follow it around. Okay? Following the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Well, following the Bible because it is God's word. Were you able to keep up with it? I hope so. You can follow God's word. And that's how you can protect it. Protect God's word by following it.
It's your thinking cap on. I got mine on now. I hope yours is on because I'm going to ask you some questions. What book is this? Yes, it's the Bible. Do you believe the Bible? Stand up if you believe the Bible. I'm glad you do. I do too. I believe the Bible. I believe it's God's word. Now here's one. Oh, you should get this one. Whose words are in the Bible? Yes, you were listening. They were God's words. God's words are in the Bible. Well, who can you tell about the Bible? What about your mom, your dad, grandma, or grandpa, a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a friend? Is there someone who doesn't believe the Bible? Is there someone you, you know that you can tell about the Bible? Jeremiah didn't give up. He wanted the people of Israel to hear God's word. And even though the, the king tried to stop him, he didn't let that scare him. He gave it to a scribe all over again. He wanted the people to hear. Do you want people to hear? Oh, I do too. I try to tell people about God's word. You can think in your head. Who can you tell about God's word? Our Bible says in Luke 11, 28, Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Luke eleven twenty eight. That's on your paper. A big poster that I'm going to give you. Ooh. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Luke eleven twenty eight. So I want you to send me a video. Ask mom and dad to help you. When you memorize this, I want to hear it, okay? I know um, Rochelle did last week. Good job, Rochelle. And I had something special for her. So can you do it too? If she can do it, you can do it. And you can do, memorize this one again too. So let's practice. You see, it's not that hard. Luke eleven twenty eight. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Luke eleven twenty eight. So send a video when you memorize that and let me know, okay? I hope you have a good week and I hope you'll be busy protecting God's word by following it, by obeying it. Have a good week.